Let's try to understand transformation for exponential function. What points are important and how, how should we really do transformation of exponential functions. So let me take a parent exponential function which is f of x equals to 2 to the power of x. Correct. So we will use this as an example to understand how should we do transformation for exponential functions. Okay. So let's start like this with our coordinate system. Now here we have this is my 0 and let's say these are my positive 1, 2, 3 and let's 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, let's say this is a minus 1 and this is a minus 2, okay. So, in exponential functions, some important things which we should keep in mind are their characteristics. What are the critical characteristics of an exponential function? One, it has an horizontal asymptote, which is x-axis. Second, if x equals to 0, then it is always equal to 1. Correct. Third, if x equals to 1, then it's the base of the function. And if it is minus 1, it is a reciprocal of the base. Okay? So, we can always get plucking the values. We will get our graph. And as we have seen earlier also in the base function, let's put some values and draw a graph here. If x is 0, 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So, we get this point. right? If x is 1, then 2 to the power of 1 is 2. So, at 1, we get a value 2. If x is 2, then 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So at 2, we get a value 4. How about when x is minus 1? If x is minus 1, then we get 2 to the power of minus 1, which is 1 over 2. That is half. So we get here. And when it, it is minus 2, then it is 1 over 2 square, which is 1 over 4. So 1 fourth. So it becomes half. You will notice that as we go higher and higher, beyond 3, 3 will be 8, right? It will be going towards infinity. But as we go lower and lower, that means towards the negative side higher, if I go to minus 3, if x is minus 3, it will be 1 over 8. So like 1 over 16, 1 over 32, it is going to come closer and closer to my x-axis and will never touch it, right? So we get a graph here, which is kind of, like this and it approaches x-axis right on, on this side it approaches infinity and that's the graph of 2 to the power of x even if we know there is no no stretch or compression on the graph then if you check the value at 1 so 1 will give you the base 2 do you see that it's a very easy way to check this now let's consider different transformations of this function so let me first show you how will horizontal or vertical translation will change this. It's very simple. If I write, let us say, minus 1, that means I am pulling this one unit down, correct? So basically what happens? If I do 2 to the power of x minus 1, so let me draw a function in a different ink for f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 1. So for minus 1 what will happen? Every point will be pulled down by one unit, right? So this 1 will become to 0, right? This 2 will come to 1, right? Similarly 4 will come to 3. And these points will come down by 1. But most important point here is the horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote also comes down to 1. And therefore, we have horizontal asymptote at minus 1. Do you see that? So that is kind of very important thing to notice. Okay? And so, we have our horizontal asymptote at minus 1. And then, we can bring all the points here to 1. It becomes closer and closer, but this time to 1, right? And we have a graph here, which is kind of similar to this. But, you know, because when you do translation the nature of the graph doesn't really change well it's not a good 
curve to draw but I hope you get it right so the idea is this is 2 to the power of x minus 1 it just and this one for us is 2 to the power of x so what moving up and down is kind of translating the whole points up and down now if I would have done another function which could be f of x equals to 2 to the power of x but if I do it minus here then what happens minus here will reflect my graph correct so this graph gets reflected correct so I get a graph here and all the points come down and it goes like this do you see so at 1 I will have minus 2 correct and at 0 I'll have minus 1 so my graph will be pulled down will be reflected on x-axis kind of like this do you see that It'll be kind of. so this will be my function minus 2 to the power of x so the graph 2 to the power of x gets reflected on the x-axis how about translating or it horizontally horizontal translations actually mean what let's say now consider the function fx equals to 2 to the power of x minus 1 x minus 1 means we'll move every unit one unit to the right now when we do this kind of transformation the most important points to consider are the points at 1 minus 1 2 so one moves one unit to right so this moves one unit to right so it moves here do you see that this point similarly this point 2 moves one unit to the right so instead of at 1 this value comes at 2 do you see that and similarly all these points they will move one unit right so this point half will come here correct so this point will come here so and this point will come here like that so we have a function where it moves two units to the right and so we have a function which is so this is my f of x horizontally moving these units to the right so the critical points to move are at x equals to 0 minus 1 and plus 1 correct the horizontal asymptote remains the same now how to do f of x as 2 to the power of minus x here so this minus x means reflection on y axis right our original graph is this so it gets reflected this graph as you see is always increasing correct so when you do minus it becomes always decreasing it gets reflected on this so this point gets reflected here this point is invariant it remains there itself and that comes to minus 2 right so we have a graph here which will be kind of like this so this is our graph 2 to the power of minus x I know it has become very messy here but if you follow the steps as I've shown you then you will understand the meaning of each and every component how should it be done individually correct now let me give you a problem so that you can check and draw yourself let's say we have g of x given as minus half times 2 to the power of 2 x minus 1 and then let me write here minus plus 3 I'd like you to try this on your own but explain you how to do it so first what will you do you will do reflection of your basic graph so we have first you draw your basic graph 2 to the power of x correct and after that you need to reflect it on x-axis so you'll get something like this red graph right and once you do that you do horizontally vertically compressed by a factor of half that means all these points will move closer right is it okay so it becomes half and then you do horizontally compressed by a factor of half again because two right so they come closer and closer right and this means 
translate one unit to the right and this means translate three units up correct and once you do that write its domain and range okay also write its behavior is it always increasing or always decreasing any exponential function will be either increasing or decreasing correct so try this out and see if you can understand or if you can do it I have another video where I have shown similar kind of transformation then you can look into that video to check if your method was right or wrong okay thank you